I try to take something away from every hunt that I go on, whether I'm, I'm successful or unsuccessful. And on the successful hunts, the lessons are a lot more fun. On my hunt from uh, December 1st, there are two key points that I wanted to touch on. The first one is the behavior of this buck. Drake had filmed this deer back in early October, almost three quarters of a mile away from the spot where I ended up killing him. The deer had made the move from then, uh, and I started picking up trail camera pictures of him closer to where I killed him. So he had jumped almost a half a mile from where Drake filmed him in early October to the middle of October where I was getting trail camera pictures of him closer to where I was hunting. This is rare uh, for this late into the season for deer to be making this big jump for the bucks. Normally the summer range transition to the fall range, that takes place during the uh, month of September, maybe the first few days of October. But to see a buck that you've got pegged in one spot show up quite a long ways away that far into the season is pretty rare. So that was an interesting behavior. Uh, the second point is the location where I was hunting this deer. And it was a one acre isolated patch of Big and Beastie. I love these little small food plots like this. I've got a bunch of them on the farm now. A lot of them we created, we called them poor man plots, where we just used hand tools and uh, found a little opening someplace and, and made these little small food plots to hunt over. But this one, we actually had to use more equipment because it was bigger and there was a lot of bigger trees and so forth. But um, the, the concept is the same on both. And that is the fact that you're close to where the deer bed. So it's the last place that the deer are on their feet in the mornings before they go to bed down. And it's the first place where they're on their feet when they come out of their beds in the evenings. We first initially planted this food plot uh, back this past spring, the spring of 2017 to Clover. And we came back again in the middle of August and tilled it under and planted it to Big and Beastie. So we had a, a drought this past year and we didn't really get rains until September. So this plot did really well during the month of September. It got up real nice and lush. And then we're gonna show you almost a, a, a time lapse of what happened to it over the next couple of months as the deer started homing in on this spot. Early October we hunted it and there was a lot of food there. And then each time we hunted it after that, there was less and less until now, early in December, you can see a lot of bare dirt between the plants. So the deer are definitely utilizing this food plot. Uh, there's stuff in that blend that they like during all phases of the season. So if you're looking for a, a simple way to improve your hunting dramatically, I'll look for any small opening that you can either use farm equipment if you've got access to it or just hand tools and turn those into little small food plots. They work awesome for creating these close range opportunities for bow hunters.